And after quite a while, I'm back in the O2 Academy in Bristol. This was Lifeline, and this was absolutely amazing. Um, it's all about energy, and if you enjoy energy, this is the one. I'm Ben Nicky and we're here at my launch of my brand called Lifeline. I can't remember because I've had a few drinks. Um, reluctantly went backstage after my set and found Mr. Matt Zoe here. Um, to be honest, I think I interrupted his drink and he wasn't too happy about it. But we're outside the ice rink at the moment next to the venue. And um, yeah, anyway, mate, did you enjoy your set earlier on? No, it was really fun. Uh, definitely a um, great crowd, uh, especially for a launch night. Really pleased. The last set, the last interview I seen with you with uh, JTech was at, was it Global or somewhere? And you were, it was the most unserious interview I've ever seen. So really now, this is probably the best one, the most serious one you've done. That's the best question I've ever answered. <laughs> yeah. So um, no, but do you come? You obviously came down from London today, or do you play yesterday? Or yeah, I played in uh, the gallery to the yesterday at Ministry of Sound. Good, good gig, obviously. Yeah, great gig. Was it as, was it good as tonight? And then that's the question, mate, because you've got a new brand on the horizon now. So uh, it, tonight was definitely better for sure. Whoa, it, Ministry of Sound. I think I might have to edit that because I've just heard an exclusive from Matt Zoe that it was better. Yeah, the so Ministry. Have... Yeah, sorry, Gav Mitchell. Well, we're only joking. They're both great clubs, as um, yeah, as we all know. When's your next gig, mate? Anywhere exotic? Uh, very exotic. London. Uh, yeah. It's going to be DJ Mag party at Ministry. Uh, top 100 party? Yep. So can we also have an exclusive that you might be in the top 100 as well? Yes, I might be in the top 100. Because I, I, a little birdie says that you're not allowed to say if you're in the top 100, otherwise you can get in trouble. Is that right? Well, yeah, but that interview I did for them was a complete waste of time if I didn't get in. <laughs> And, and also playing at the event would look a bit stupid if you came 900. Exactly. Yeah, and you did come in last year, so it's, it's very likely that it's going to happen. Um, apart from that, anything else after that? I mean, obviously you've got a big gig diary. We're lucky to get you down here. Anywhere else that uh, you're looking forward to? Yeah, a bit quiet at the moment, but uh, I've got a few. I think that's the case everywhere at the moment. I think that's just the way that a lot of uh, things are happening. What about New Year? Anything to New Year? New Year, I might be playing Malaysia, might be playing America. It's still unsettled. But pretty, pretty close. Destinations, yeah. Exactly. Just choose one of them, you know. Um, Tune-wise, you just come out of a new one. Was it Frequent Flyer? Was that named after your Air Miles card? Of course. Priority Pass. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, anything else coming out? Any new tr tracks with Mr. Arty or anything coming out? Yep, I got one tune with uh, Arty coming out. It's called uh, Mozart. As a lot of people begged me to name it that. Okay. And, uh, any any specific reason apart from you being a very musically influenced person? It's nothing to do with that. Simply because Arty. I think I heard you play one of his tracks earlier, Mozart. That yeah, that was you it. it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's just because uh, our names kind of yeah, are uh, whatever. What's it called? Uh, Similar. An anagram. Is it anagram? An anagram is the word. Um, you obviously don't do crosswords in the daily times, do you? No, no. Okay. I'm way too clever. To introduce him to that. Um, but yeah, it was a great launch night. Absolutely round dance floor. Um, you couldn't really see much further than the dance floor ended. So I'm really happy with it.